How would your family do if you were able to pack up and take a five-week sabbatical? My first thought is my children will either like it or hate it. I don't know, but Kim did this with her family, here to tell us how it all went and what she learned as a family. Welcome. Thank you. This I'm is excited. courageous of you <laughs> to say, you know what, I'm going to leave our home, it's comfortable, and we're going to go. Yeah, we just pulled the kids out of school and went to Florida. We wanted to go somewhere warm. We needed to stay in the U.S. and so that's where we went. Okay, this is years in the making. What yeah. was the thought behind it? Why did you want this experience with your children and your family? So one day when I was in middle school, I came home from school and my mom said, what if we moved to Australia? And then we did. And I had this four year experience in Australia in the 90s. This is back when we were way less connected than we are now, right? Like I couldn't keep in touch with my friends outside of letters and maybe emails. And that experience became such a formative experience in my life and just really valuable for opening my eyes to other ways of living and being that I wanted something like that for my kids. So I've always wanted this adventure. It just had to be downsized a little bit from a full-on four-year move to Australia. <laughs> we could just do five weeks away. So. And your kid's age is 13, mm -hmm. seven. Yep, and then a 10-year-old And a 10-year-old. Mm -hmm. uh, and, oh, Disney World. Yes. Your, your husband was on board too? He was on board too. Thankfully, his, work, his office was nice about letting us do this and make this happen. And honestly, the re one of the big reasons it worked was because of COVID and the adjustments that workplaces and schools had to make in order to make online remote learning and working a thing. And so that that actually made it more possible for us to be able to do that because of that Logistically, you could Logistically, because yeah. he's working from where you mm -hmm. are and kids are doing online schooling. Exactly. So what did you take away from this? Yeah. What, are, what are some of those big lessons? Yeah, so one of the reasons we went was because we just felt frenzied as a family and stressed out. And it had been a stressful couple of years leading up to it between COVID and some personal things and health struggles that some of us were facing in my family. We just needed a breather. <laughs> so we picked up up and left and the biggest thing I noticed was that even though my kids fought you know the same as they do when they're at home <laughs> they developed a friendship that they didn't have before because they didn't have friends with them they had to be taken out of their normal comfortable life and rely on each other more and entertain each other more and so we grew closer as a family and that friendship that permeated our days there has stayed with us since we've come home and it's hard to describe but it's just they like each other a little more, even though, again, still a normal family, still fighting all of that. But they, they just, they're better friends. And that was the biggest, most valuable thing that we brought home with us. What an incredible time for your kids to actually bring home those memories that will last a lifetime. There were some struggles during the trip. Yeah. You had to pivot. Yes. Explain what happened. As soon as we got there, this place we had booked at least six months prior, said as we were driving there to this place we were gonna stay the whole time, they said, oh, it's unavailable. There was hurricane damage that wasn't reported way back when with Hurricane Ian, I believe. And so they said, sorry, you have to go somewhere else. So we drove six hours north right away to a different place, a completely different area, but it ended up being paradise. It, it, it was such a beautiful place at the Gulf Coast, just really quiet and peaceful. And we escaped the hurricane that actually ended up coming three days later. Another hurricane came to the same place where we would have stayed. We would have had to evacuate or there were tornado warnings. It was insane. So we it ended up being kind of a you know, An well, amazing uh, kismet thing. kind of situation. Exactly. Yeah. And that's yes. a lesson to take too. Sometimes mm -hmm. the pivot mm -hmm. redirects you just where you're yeah. supposed to be. Okay, yeah. so if you want to do this with your family, mm -hmm. you say to set intentions for yes. the experience. Yeah, so I think just even if you're going on a little trip for a week or two weeks or whatever you're doing, you can get a lot more out of your family adventures if you do these things. So first I would say set intentions. Sometimes we're just like, oh, we just need to get out the door and get on this trip. But think about what you want out of it and what, you know, for us, it was we want to be more connected as a family and we want to relax and we want to, you know, put aside some of those things that stress us out and just really be present with each other. So take a minute to write those things down before you go. And you just said journaling is mm -hmm. really important because you yeah. want to savor those memories. You can yeah. have it in your head, but it is nice to look back yeah. and then ground yourself in those yes. memorable moments. When you are having a really wonderful moment on a trip or you see a beautiful scene or something like that, ground yourself to all of your senses and that helps your brain better remember them and recall them oh, later. Oh, totally. Mm -hmm. And then you get 
gather the meaningful mementos so you have the reminders mm -hmm. and reflect when you return. I bet you guys are still doing a lot of that. Yeah, so I am a big journaler and so I came home and wrote down all about our experience. I had my kids do the same thing just to really gain perspective of perspective of what we learned and what we want to take forward with us in our lives now that we're back at home away what from that adventure. memento did you take back with you? So I mean we made a family video. I like to take videos on our trips. You know they're a little mm -hmm. more vibrant than pictures and so I made a family video and I took one tiny little ceramic cloud that says everything's going to be okay and that oh. kind of encapsulates our trip and Kim, what we got out of it. I love it. I love the house. I love the Gulf Coast. I love your memories you took back. Talk wordy to me. I feel like, Kim, you should be writing a book. You tell us all about the books we should read. You should write one for yourself. I am. You are. <laughs> she yes. And she, didn't you have a, a big article about this experience published? Yeah. So we will link that as well. Uh, I can't wait to read those words summing up the experience. Come back again soon. Thank you so much. Up next.